Hey, what's up? Welcome to another Old Hat Outdoors episode. I'm your host, Matt Keller. I was up last weekend fishing on Lake Cascade, and no, I did not win the tournament. I'm sorry. I would have shared everything with you. Uh, the tournament was up on Lake Cascade. I slept on the ice for the whole weekend, which is fun, but it really limits your mobility, and especially when the weather was as crappy as it was, snow and slush, but hey, we still, I got my bump board right here, my new bump board. It still smells fishy. We caught some nice fish. During the day was pretty slow, but here's what I want to tell you. Something magical happened Saturday night, and this isn't the first time this has happened, but it was the most action we've ever seen on the camera once the sun goes down for big perch. Now normally perch aren't known for after hours biting. They're not like walleyes or crappies where you, you can typically catch them throughout the night. But we're sleeping out there, so what else do you have to do? So let me tell you, let me scoot up, because this is important. I'm not a spokesperson for Aquaview. I don't get sponsored by them. I'm not paid by them in any way, but without a camera like this, we would have never known what was below it. Of course you have your, your flashers and you can mark fish and and I saw so many posts, I saw so many posts after this weekend where people were saying, yeah, we marked a ton of fish, they would come up, but they wouldn't hit. And with the camera, you can find out exactly where those fish are. Now, most of them are small fish that you're watching come up fast, darting back down, small, tiny perch, they're not gonna hit. Even if they did hit, you probably wouldn't want them anyway. So the sun goes down on Saturday night and we see a little flicker on the bottom of the Vexlar. You know what I mean? Like, you know something's probably there, but is it a fish? Maybe it's a herd of snails passing. I don't know, you don't know what it is. It's a little flicker. So we drop the camera down and we have the camera about two feet off the bottom and I hit the infrared light and what we saw was a giant perch right below our camera. I think I had a rod down at the time, but I, I quick rigged up a different rod and so what I put on was this little glow tungsten jig it's right here you can see that it's a vmc glow tung tungsten jig just a small jig so the first thing i dropped down there was just a little i think whatever is closest to me a little piece of shrimp and and the and the perch showed interest right away in fact we sat there from about seven o'clock at night probably to about midnight when i was so tired i just had to fall asleep and there was almost always giant perch on the screen now the fun part was trying to get them to bite so we tried the little, we tried this little glow tungsten jig. We tried just a bare hook, and it seemed like whenever we tried something new, the fish would come around and mm, taste it, and it would like barely put it in its mouth and spit it out right away. Wouldn't inhale it all the way. It was like this crazy game between me and the perch. Could I get him to take the bait? And actually, throughout the night, we caught our biggest fish once it was dark. Now we didn't have the cameras rolling all the time because it was just hours of oh my gosh, is this fish gonna hit? Or are we just gonna sit here and like stare at each other? We were in 22 feet of water, muddy bottom, and it was filthy with giant perch. Just keep coming through. And they were just really, you know, at night, they're really slow, lethargic. You know, they're not sleeping, but they're, they're not actively feeding. And so we had the camera down all day and we didn't see these fish. And then all of a sudden it gets dark, 22 feet of water, they showed up in in big numbers and they were all big. We rarely saw small fish. We got the perch coming up looking at the camera. You got a few hook sets on the Acreview. This is a short video. Thanks for watching by the way. Just a quick update on, on night fishing on Lake Cascade. It's possible. It's super fun if you got the right equipment and I think the reward is definitely worth it. This was this is what we actually got them to hit on. We couldn't get them to sit on a dead stick but they also didn't want too much action. And so we would just tip this with a wax worm, piece of shrimp, a little piece of worm, just kept trying different things, and that's how we got them to hit. The fish were always, pretty much always coming through. We just give it a little little tap. In fact, I had this sit on my lap, and a lot of time I would just tap the rod tip like that, and it would give it just enough control, because if you did anything too much, those perch were gone. And it would sit there, and he would stare it down, and eventually they'd come taste it and we are able to catch a few at night. So if you're sleeping out or if you wanna try something new, night fishing for giant perch was as much fun as I've had perch fishing in a long time, mainly because it's constant action. Now, the thing is, if you don't have a camera, it'd be really difficult to do this. So if you don't have a camera, I apologize. You're just gonna to have to come fish with me someday and we'll check it out. 
But if you have a camera, what you're gonna need is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna video this up close with a GoPro, and then we're gonna do a little example. When you are fishing Cascade or any lake this time of year where there's a lot of snow cover, not much light gets through the ice. So even during the day, I was running infrared all day just so I could see fish better. Now there's a lot of junk in the water, so you pick up a lot of bugs and just a lot of stuff drifting around. And so you don't have a, a lot of range of vision. So thankfully with perch, most of them they're right on the bottom. We get right on top of them, turn the infrared on. You can see what's swimming through right on the bottom. You can see I'm inside of a bucket right now. Coordinates inside the bucket, it's obviously really dark. I'm gonna put on infrared. And we'll see the difference. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. That's inside the bucket with infrared. I can see everything. It's incredible. Okay, so there you can see how uh, essential the infrared is on the camera. Without it, you're just looking at a black screen. And so with that on, keeping it still right above the jig. The jig is right just an inch or two off the bottom. Sometimes just pounding the dust a little bit. So there you go, really cool experience. Hey, remember this, night fishing perch is possible. It's exciting and a little addicting. Thanks for watching everybody.